Now to the growing outrage after a four-year-old boy slipped into a gorilla enclosure and the desperate decision to kill the animal. The shocking incident caught on camera. The gorilla and boy face to face for several minutes before the 400 pound silverback was shot. Tonight, officials defending their actions amid anger and an outpouring of support for the endangered animal. And now new clues into how the frightening ordeal began. Here's ABC's Marcy Gonzalez, and we want to warn you, you might find some of these images graphic. Tonight, growing outrage about this close encounter. Those 10 terrifying minutes the child spent inside the zoo exhibit, causing the endangered silverback to lose his life. Oh, my God. The horrifying scene playing out in front of the boy's mother. Let me love you. Here. At one point, 17 year old Harambe and the four year old boy appear to look at each other. Be calm. Be calm. Good, good. Then the gorilla lifts the boy up and drags him to the other side of the moat. Zoo officials making the split second decision to take the gorilla's life. My heart sank. You could tell it was a high, high powered rifle. Authorities say it started when the boy crawled over the barrier, plunging into the moat. This video of the exhibit from 2014 shows the three foot high railing that separates the crowd from the exhibit. The same one that's been there for 38 years. The exhibit safe and the barrier safe. That said, any of us in this room could climb over barriers if we choose. Mourners today holding a vigil for the gorilla as anger over his death grows. Some pointing to videos like this showing a gorilla in an Illinois zoo in 1996 carrying an injured boy who had fallen into her enclosure to zookeepers for help, saying gorillas can be protective. The zoo tonight defending its decision to shoot the animal. That child's life was in danger. We stand by our decision and we make the same call today. Tonight, the boy is home from the hospital, but online calls for his parents to be held accountable. The boy's mother writing in a now deleted Facebook post. As a society, we're quick to judge how a parent could take their eyes off of their child. Accidents happen, but I am thankful that the right people were in the right place. And Cincinnati police tell ABC News they are not filing charges. The zoo's director tells me they are now reviewing ways to make the gorilla exhibit safer. Tom. So many people talking about the story. All right, Marcy, thank you.